Hello, we are Sonia Verdugo Castro, Maricruz Sánchez Gómez, and Maria Victoria Martín Cilleros from the University of Salamanca. And our work is entitled Trends in Technosocial Environments and Heron Technological Innovation, a Systematic Mapping and European Initiatives. Our introduction, Living Labs are social innovation laboratories aimed at improving people's quality of life in a given area. The actions of Living Labs can focus on any aspect of people's lives or any aspect of a region, company, group, ATC. With the different living labs, the senior labs are oriented towards social innovation aiming to improve the quality of life of older people. Within the framework of the project, subjective adaptability in technological environments and life by inherent technological innovation, a study has been carried out to identify the current trends in the field of policy research or living labs and especially senior labs. To this end, our study was carried out in two phases. On the one hand, a systematic mapping of the publication indexed in impact database. On the other hand, a review of the exciting living labs initiatives in Europe. About the methodology for systematic mapping, the systematic mapping of scientific production was used as a method to carry out our research. Through the use of protocol, this procedure generates a description of the natural occurring situation of publication. In addition, the qualitative paradigm provides insight into the topics addressed in the various scientific articles resulting from the process. In turn, the process also provides greater clarity of the figures and trends of the discussion points. The protocol for the systematic mapping included the following elements, objectives and research questions, inclusion and exclusion criteria, selection of database, web of science and scopus, search equation with Boolean operators, and conducting the search. Our general objective was to characterize the production of scientific articles on living labs in impact database such as web of science and scopus, specifically senior labs in the last five years. Finally, in Scopus, 71 documents were found and 54 papers in Web of Science, out of which 39 duplicates were eliminated. Finally, 15 articles remaining from the Web of Science results, adding up to a total of 86 publications between the two databases. After analyzing the relevance of the 86 publications according to the inclusion and exclusion criteria, 75 publications were discarded as a subject matter of the study did not mention living labs and senior labs. Therefore, 11 publications were finally analyzed. About the data analysis and results, the predominant type of the publication was the article 91% compared to the 9% of the review type of publication. Six of the publications were published in 2020 uh, three in 2017, one in 2018, and one in 2021. Four have no citations, and the publication with the most citation is 22. 82% of the publications are listed in Scopus, and 18% of the Web of Science. Finally, some of the most used keywords to identify the publications are aging, aging well, data analysis, dementia, living lab, match and learning, older adults, other people, quality of life, senior, senior citizens, social innovation, and usability. About the European Living Labs and Senior Labs Initiative, in addition to the systematic mapping, European initiatives in the sector have been analyzed. For this purpose, the initiative registered with the European Network of Living Labs were considered. There are 139 Living Labs registered in the North Network. Our analysis include that corresponding to the areas of education and health and well-being, a total of 42 living labs, eight of which are in Spain. As can be seen from the results, there are several social innovation initiatives in the four or laboratories. These living labs can specialize in different topics and areas, although one of the particular interests is improving the quality of life of older people, senior labs. Regarding publication, the issues that seem to be of greatest interest are the physical health of all people and the generation of new technologies for this population. 
Thank you very much.